tonight in San Diego. We want to thank all of our viewers for watching, and especially our live audience here at the Jeffrey Theater at Spreckles. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Our live audience is going to win prizes. We've got prizes like these. These are uh, tickets to see Beatles versus Stones at the Belly Up Tavern in Solana Beach. And if uh, you want to win prizes like that, just get your tickets to tonightinsandiego.com and also get, uh, check us out on social media, Instagram, Tinder, whatever, and uh, hashtag us tonight in San Diego. So our next guest, ladies and gentlemen, is Caboo's Senior Business Development Manager. Please welcome Chris Rakin. <laughs> So welcome to the show, Chris. Thank Great you so to much. see you. Thank you for coming you? on. This is a Kaboo extravaganza today. It is. You guys it's excited uh, for Kaboo? Everybody. They are very excited for Kaboo. Now, Kaboo is a fairly new festival. This is, is the second year of Kaboo, right? It's yep. a three-day. In fact, why don't you tell them uh, about Kaboo? Well, it's a three-day music festival plus comedy plus art plus uh, food, wine. It's a mixed experience in Del Mar. Who here doesn't know what Kaboo is? You guys know what it is. You already got tickets, right? <laughs> So when you say it's a mixed experience, does that mean it's like a McDonald's experience, or what does that mean exactly? What is a mixed experience? Well, I guess we could. It's not a mix experience. A mix experience. That's probably it's mix, franchise. It's a mix experience. That's probably patented. We went mix experience. Right. Is that one of our sponsors? Mix was probably taken. So. Mix experience. So yeah. a, a mix. That means it's a mixed experience of all these. Yeah, it's, uh, all these things. We've got you know obviously the headliners from Jimmy Buffett, Aerosmith, Jack Johnson, Daryl Hall, and John Oates, Lenny Kravitz, Chainsmokers, Fall Out Boy. The list goes on and on. Um, we also have comedy. As you guys saw earlier, one of yeah. the uh, local comedians that are winning, right? That's fantastic. Um, who are, also, who are some, we have Dan Venti, of course, who's yep. on the show tonight. Who are the other acts that you um, have? So Dan will be opening for Cheech and Chong amongst about uh, six others on Sunday. Yep. We've got uh, Dana Carvey, Sarah Silverman, uh, and about 16 other comedian acts throughout the day and throughout the evening. That is tremendous. That's we, fantastic. So that uh, th that festival now second year of it. Second year. And yeah. I assume that it, you're trying to grow it every year. It's a little different than it was last year. It'll be a, very much so different. What we, uh, what what new things do you have this year that you didn't, or or new acts and things like that? Uh, that are different? So who here came last year? Raise your hands. Anybody was a Kaboo? Did some Kaboo people. That wasn't quite loud enough. Next year we'll ask that again, and we'll get more you know woohoos. Um, we've added a second main stage. Okay. So we had our main stage last year where our uh, main acts played. This year we have a second stage to sort of increase the footprint, make it bigger, much more activities going on. Um, we've increased our comedy lineup, for example, Dana Carvey, Sarah Silverman, you know, Cheech and Chong. So bigger uh, acts, definitely. Bigger yeah. acts, um, a little bit more condensed in the acts. Last year we had sort of seven huge stages. This year we've got two main stages, two sub stages. We've got a comedian stage. We've got late night DJ with Steve Aoki, RAC, Rez, DJ Snoopadelic, um, all sorts of stuff. We've got, uh, this year we've increased our palette. That's so our experience that has uh, craft beer from around San Diego and California. Okay. Right? How cool is San Diego as a craft beer town now? That's what we're known for. I'm proud of that. Everybody's proud of that. They like the booze. Yeah. yeah. There's plenty of that there. Yeah. Tons of that. Um, we've got local restaurants from around San Diego. We've got uh, about 100 artists from around uh, San Diego, California, and the country doing live art, mural art, sculpture art. You saw last year, and you'll see again this year, huge 60-foot murals being done live on site throughout the event. Wow. So it's, there's something for, you don't want to miss a single day. Wow, from that's music cool. To so everything it's, else that's it's going a three-day, all-day, night yep. event. Yep. At the Del Mar Fairgrounds. It's just like going out to the desert or up to you know, Coachella, but you don't have to get dirty and you can go home at night. Come back to your San Diego home. Very nice. So let me ask you, I wanted to ask, what does Kaboo mean? What, what is that? Does that stand for something? Is there? No. No. It's, it's just uh... a... <laughs> a... We might as well have called it tequila. It was after a long night of tequila drinking, no name had found itself, and that was the name that got shouted, and that's why it's all caps. Oh. You know? <laughs> They got shot after tequila? It was just, you like know, like, like, kaboom! Yeah. <laughs> well, that's maybe probably not. 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 That didn't, I hope it didn't go down like that. That's probably not I didn't not picture good. it like that. Yeah. Uh, no, it just honestly was a, a name that was just sort of came up from the, uh, the founders who are awesome, you know, folks. And they were longtime music lovers, longtime music festival lovers. And San they Diego wanted, people? Is this a, um, I mean, it's is a mixture of uh, folks from San Francisco, San Diego. Mixed guys experience. From Denver. It's a mixed yeah. experience. So how did you get involved in this, in this event? I mean, um, did you... Sort of right place, right time. Yeah. It's one of those things where, you know, obviously a music lover, comedy lover, food, wine lover, um, kind of a mixed background of myself, but uh, 
just kind of right place, right time. Found me, I knew a lot of folks, knew a lot of the connections, knew a lot of San Diego, and kind okay. of tied it together. And what kind of stuff do you do for the event? Are you, it says you're the business development manager. I assume that means you're trying to grow the brand. But Grow, Growing the brand, growing the, uh, the entirety of the business. Everything from bringing right partners on, like Mercedes-Benz is our title sponsor, okay. uh, all the way down to the local craft breweries that want to serve their beer on site. We sort of tie it together so that the uh, audience experience has the right brands they're engaging with and the right brands have the right exposure to the right audience. That's cool. Is it easy to get uh, sponsors? Like, we're looking for sponsors here, maybe like car to go or, some, or Uber or something. Any, we're not Mercedes, but we would take any uh, sponsor. How do you reach out to sponsors like that and get them on board? It's tough. Um, the, the cool thing about our uh, event is the, you know, the demographic. It's San Diego. It is San Diego in a nutshell. It's music, it's culture, it's art, it's beach, it's everything San Diego is, so it's a little bit easier for us. Um, and also, we've got you know, a huge attendee base that want to come hang out and check it out. So. Uh, no, it's tough to get sponsors, especially the uh, the craft beer world because they're so busy. Yeah. You know, they have so many events going on. It's just really hard to get them to commit to all of them. Absolutely. But, but you got Aerosmith. Awesome. Yeah. It's hard to get the beer guys, but you got Aerosmith. Yeah, that's right. Oil, e easier, to, <laughs> easier to get Aerosmith than the beer guys. But that's Carl crazy. Strauss. Not that's, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Carl Strauss followed by Aerosmith. You know? That's funny. <laughs> So you, I, the other thing I read about you, besides being a business guy and all this, it said that you're an expert on surf forecasting. Yeah, what exactly sort of is, a, and, and that, that you're called Buoy Chris? Is that Bowie true? Buoy Chris, yeah, that's what my, but it's kind of dorky. You're going to bring that up now? I'm going to talk about that later. Listen, I was just curious <laughs> what that means. First of all, I don't know what Kaboo means still, I've, and now I'm looking for Buoy Chris. I don't know if this I've is going to uh, I spent a few years on the, uh, the pro tour surfing, you know, the, the lower ranks of the pro tour surfing, and okay. just fell in love with surfing and figuring out where the best waves are. It takes a kind of a bit of science. You've got to understand where the weather's doing, what the water's doing, what everything's doing, and so my buddies always call me and say, where's the best waves? Because they know I can tell them where it is, whether it's here or up the coast, up in somewhere else, or down in Baja. Oh wow! So you're like a surf weatherman. That's cool. Sort of. I wish that was a job. That I mean, should, yeah, it should definitely. be a job. Maybe you can integrate it into Kaboo somehow. You know, yeah, like in this booth, I'm going to be predicting. But I don't uh, want to encourage people. These three days, they're swell. Go surf. We want to make. Oh right, that's true. That's true. So, uh, do you have a favorite performer or something that you're really looking uh, forward Hall to seeing this year? Hall and Oates. Hall and Oates. Very yeah. nice. Yeah, that's awesome. Hall and Oates was my first concert ever with my dad when I was like nine years old, and so it'll be really cool to see him again. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, I love and that. And plus they rock. Who doesn't like a rich girl? I, listen, I, I'm a big <laughs> Private eyes are watching you. You know what I mean? That's, that's the song I like. So I, I don't want to put you on the spot, but I was wondering if maybe you had an extra ticket you could slide your boy. Well, do you like, how about, do you like Jimmy Buffett? Sure, I'll take Jimmy Buffett. You like DJ Snoopadelic? I like Snoopadoop, a Snoopaloop, all Fall, that stuff. Fallout Boy? I'm into all of that. Dana Carvey? Yes. Well, check it out. They're all playing on Friday. I got a Friday ticket for you. You got a Friday work. ticket for me? But you know what? It's, it's not really fair, though. Shouldn't we invite No, that's true. That's not folks? fair. I don't you know. Probably you don't have one for Bajan also. How about this? How about if I allow you to bring your whole audience tonight to Kaboo on Friday? Bring everybody? Oh. You guys like that? For Chris Rankin, check him out at Kaboo on Friday coming up. We'll be right back after this. Chris, that's so awesome.